No, I'm really surprised you did that because our guest today is a professional <laughs> dancer and, no, no. and you dancing in front of her like that is, is just horrible. Mine, just mine is the cute dance. Unforgivable. The no, cute no, dance. There's yes, no cute yes. dancer. No one wants to learn that. Uh, you can watch uh, this interview live right now on Class 95's Facebook page. Let's say hello to Charlene Leong. Good morning, Charlene. Hey, Charlene. Good morning, Justin. Good morning, Vernon. Thank you for joining us today on People in Our Neighbourhood. Yeah, and uh, Charlene, of course, is a dance instructress at uh, Slap Dance Studio. Now, That's right. Uh, okay, let's delve straight into this because, yeah. uh, you know, there's, there's, there's no use saying anything else. You are a pole dance instructress. Now, tell us all about that, how you got into pole dancing in the first place. Oh, I have been doing this for 13 years. The first Whoa. time I got into this was a friend, a good friend of mine. She said, hey, do you want to do dance and dancing? I said, okay, sure. And I said, what do you want to do? She said, pro dancing. I was like, seriously? <laughs> <laughs> wow. I like, of audience. Yeah, you know, yeah, of dancing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And well, because she's my best buddy, I, I mm -hmm. thought, okay, why not just go for it? Sure. Yeah. And, and that was 13 years ago. And you got hooked. And, and, and you know, <laughs> And that was also a time when, you know, when people mention uh, the word pole dancing, yeah. you know, you literally react like how you just reacted. Like, yeah. what? Pole dancing? Yeah. But now it's it's very much more commonplace. Like like a lot of people take pole dance classes, you know, and, mm. uh, you know, are very proud of it. They post it on social media as well. So mm. so how do you think, you know, from, from back then, 13 years ago, uh, when pole dancing was still very taboo yeah. uh, to, to today where, you know, it's it's generally a, a very much a accepted uh, exercise, a sport and uh, a, a fitness, a fitness yeah. hobby that yeah. a lot of people indulge in? I think it's really good, you know. It's come such a long time, especially when I started so long ago. Mm -hmm. There used to be comments like, hey, why don't you show me your table dancing moves at the bar? Uh why are you wearing so little in the class? Are there other boys in the class? You know, this sort of question could be really intimidating and you would be yeah. really wondering what uh, you're doing is right or wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know, this is a sport that you've really got to watch it. And I'm really grateful that the people who are practicing this sport are showing them confidently mm on their social media and it shows people you know the sort of things that we're doing that it actually um require a lot of physical and mental stimulation and exertion yep. and endurance yep. yeah, yeah it, it takes a lot of athleticism oh, to, you, yeah. to do I, some of the things you guys do i, 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 I see yeah. some of my friends and, and and what they do right yeah. like when they post it on social media and all that what wow, that core strength that you need to oh have right? i mean i can't even do four sit-ups <laughs> without without cramping right yeah exactly but, yeah. but the core strength you guys need to have oh, to to almost maneuver with i don't know one just one leg wrapped around the pole. It's pretty insane, isn't it? Yeah. Come for a class. <laughs> oh my goodness. No, oh, no, no. Okay. You have to reinforce your pole. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Inter in interesting question. You know, how, you, you're an instructor. Do you have guys in your class? Oh, yes. Many. Really? Oh, wow. That's wow. very cool. Wow. Okay. So, many. So, you, you see how, how much something has evolved from, from back then when she first started like yeah. in 2007 all the way till now when, when even guys want to you know try this physical activity where wow. like you said it, it's very demanding activity you, you have to have very good core strength and all that so Charlene and, uh, tell us uh, 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 yeah, give us a range of different types of people who, who actually mm. go to you to, to study pole dancing mm. Um, we accept students from 18 years and above. So mm -hmm. okay. anyone who's 18, and I've seen students up to 60 years old. Wow! Yes, 60? We have both, yes, we have both male, you know, like even married men, you know, sometimes they come with their partners. Mm. Uh, some parents would say, hey, can my girl come for a, just a lyrical class with me? And right, a private, right. and then we'll be like, yeah, sure. I mean, we've got celebrities, we've got students, really oh. people from all walks of life mm -hmm. uh, who humble themselves and they come here and just have a good time. That sounds fantastic. Oh, so, so what would you say to, to anyone who's you know still thinking to themselves, wow, you know, I've, I, it's interesting. Uh, a lot of their friends have tried it already, but uh, you, they, they, there's still a hurdle for them to get over. Yeah. What would you say to them to, to come and join you for a pole dance class? Um, I would say, you know, really just come with an open mind. You don't know what you will expect until you try it. Mm -hmm. um, there are many, many different artistic sites to pole dancing. There are also many studios in Singapore advocating different styles. So, yep. you know, go and visit as many as you want and you'll try something. I'm sure there will be one that sits well with your values and your style. 
And to me, pole dancing is a total body workout. It was yeah. my cardio, it was my strength, it was my flexibility. I honestly don't do anything else apart from housework and running after my children. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, yeah, and I'm like in good shape, you know? And I Absolutely. feel like I'm fit. Yeah. Wow. Fantastic. All right. Uh, Charlene, hold on the line with us. Uh, we're going to chat more a little bit. I want to talk about the styles as well. She just mentioned different types of styles. Different styles. We'll, we'll ch- talk about that in just a while. Maybe we won't even understand it. Uh, yeah, sure, Let's see will. if she can describe it to us. First, it's Dua Lipa on Class 95 with Break My Heart. All right, All right, Charlene. Hey, that, that was uh, really well done. Um, ah, we're still on now. Uh, we're still on Facebook Live, by the way, Charlene. Right. So um, <laughs> let, let's ask you a few questions off air. We got about three minutes uh, uh, during the song and all that. Mm-hmm. So, um, how long from you from 2007 when you first uh, your friend first brought you pole dancing? How long did it take for you between then to set up your own dance studio? Um, well, I only started my studio in 2014. Okay. But I was teaching uh, pole dance since 2009, so I've been teaching since 11 oh. years ago. Yeah. Wow. 11 okay. years. And, and, oh. Wow, that's incredible. And and, and 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 you know why 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 should people come to a slap dance studio to mm. to, to learn pole dancing from uh, yourself and uh, other instructresses? Um, I think when we started pole dancing. I mean, our own studio, we wanted to create a very different perception. And so mm-hmm. our studio is all white. Uh, we do, we, you know, we purposely introduce many different dance genres into our routines. Mm. Uh, we tend to be inclusive. So we do not say no to males, you know, or we do not say no to bigger girls or whatever uh, age you are at, we welcome you. You know, a lot of girls say that they uh, have no dance background, they're at zero fitness level. We say, it's yeah. okay, you know, you come and you build with us. So I think um, the culture at Slap Dance Studio is very inclusive um, mm-hmm. and we're very open uh, to everyone to come and learn from us, including yeah. instructors, um, you know, from overseas and in Singapore. We get a lot of visitors and it's oh, fun to nice. visit everyone. Yes. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Pre, Pre-COVID, right? Did you guys do performances as well? Because I know some people, they, they have like performances to show people uh, what they've learned and all that. Yes, we do. So um, at the end of every term, we do have a small showcase of the students where they can invite their friends and family to watch them. It's a close door event at the end of every term. Mm-hmm. Um, and at the annual events, we have student recitals where we open it up to a bigger group and they perform in theatres. Um, and annually, we also host the Asia Pole Championship. It's the it's an international uh, competition where the right. finest pole dancers around the world they come to Singapore, and we host it at the University Cultural Center, and we showcase to Singapore what pole dancing is about, the athleticism, the artistry, and the elegance of it. Um, and at this wow. show, my group of instructors will also do the opening item just to see what the local talents can do. You know. That is so cool, man! You, you guys wow. have, have literally set up not only a dance studio, but uh, but but a whole community of people who who you know uh, uh, share the same interest. Yeah, this community is really tight and strong. Mm. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. It's, it's so nice to see, uh, you know, things that what used to be people might frown upon or people might, oh, why you do that? Now it's it's just yeah. it's just like nobody bats an eyelid. You exactly. Know? It's, you know, it's, and, and people are, are interested so, in it uh, for 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 different reasons. But I, I think predominantly the reason would be to to keep fit. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, it's so wonderfully celebrated. All that. Okay, uh, Charlene, we're gonna go back on the air. Just uh, a couple more minutes, and then and then we'll we'll wrap up. Okay. Thanks, thanks for being with us this morning. Hold Here on. We go. That's Dua Lipa on Class ninety five. Don't be the one to break my heart. Oh, I, I, I see what uh, you know. Some of my friends do uh, on the pole when they pole dance. So that yeah. it, it seems as though I will break my back if I'm <laughs> <trying> <laughs> The, 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 the level of, of fitness and, and athleticism that Ins- you have to possess. Insane, insane. But, but yeah. Charlene, our, our special guest today on People in Our Neighborhood, says that yes. you know it doesn't matter your fitness level, uh, right. it doesn't matter whether you're dance trained or not, Right. you can still go and learn pole dancing. Uh, Charlene, like, okay, let, let's say, let's say, just hypothetically, right, mm. uh, 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 a large guy like me, <laughs> over 100 kilos, right. right, comes to you and says, I want to pole dance. 
you no, know. I think it's not called pole dancing. I think it's called pillar dancing. Stop it. <laughs> um, what? W- how would you begin to coach someone s- this big? <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> First of all, I think you're fine. Oh, thank you, and, thank you. Yeah, and you have not exceeded the pole, uh, the weight limit for the pole. What is the weight limit? 150 kg. Oh yes, I made oh, it. You just passed, Mate. You just passed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I didn't even know there was a weight limit. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. So yeah. it's 100, 150 kg. Okay. I mean, and we drill the pole into the ceiling and the floor, so it's pretty yeah. safe. Um, right. The pole may go sideways a little bit more, but I think you'll be mm-hmm. fine. Um, <laughs> right. I mean, first I'd, of love all, to, I'd, <laughs> I'd love to see that the pole going sideways when you're on it, Martin. Stop it. No, nobody <laughs> asked for your opinion. Sorry, Charlene, continue. Don't let, don't let him interrupt you. Yeah. So I, I think. When, whenever someone comes to us, the first thing, yeah. no matter who they are, we make them feel comfortable, mm-hmm. right? We tell them they are okay and we get them really warm up just to make sure they don't injure themselves because, you know, it's quite demanding. Yeah. Um, yeah, and we teach them the right technique. By that, I mean to say the right muscles to engage, mm. uh, to learn to breathe and make sure you exit properly. Uh, safety is priority for us, right? Of course. Mm. Yes. So uh, then, uh, uh, yeah. go ahead. No, I, I was just going to say, just by watching a lot of uh, pole dance uh, videos that my friends have put up, right? right. It feels to me like, of course, I've, ne- I've never done it before, but it feels to me like the next day, right, every muscle in your body will ache. Oh, yeah, it's, tell me about yeah, it. it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, right? It feels yeah, like yeah. That, that kind of spot, it, right? Like, it's very strenuous. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. You, you could barely walk the next day. Uh, Charlene, uh, final question I want to ask you. You mentioned a few styles of pole dancing mm. uh, just now. What are the styles of pole dancing? I mean, for, for, for the uninitiated like us, tell, tell us a little bit more. Um, so, of course, it's the sexy style that everybody is very familiar with. Yeah, uh, mm-hmm. But what we try to do is we try to just pose with all other dance genres. So, it oh. can be K-pop, it could be hip-hop, it could be K-pop? Urban. Yes. Oh, wow. And, I mean, lyrical, ballet, contemporary is the most popular that we have. Sure. Mm. So um, that's what we normally do at our studio. Okay. It's a lot that's, of fun. That's, that, that's fantastic. Cool. So, so you know, all genres of dance are incorporated into pole dancing, so no one's left out. Mm-hmm. Now, Charlene, uh, if someone wants, uh, you know, is mm. watching and, and listening to this, and uh, they want to, you know, join you guys in the studio and, and learn pole dancing, yeah, how do they get in touch with you? Where do they find Slap Dance Studio? www.slap.sg. We are at one four four Robinson Road. There you go. Simple yeah, as that. Sorry, do you say slap.sg? Yes. That's slap. such a cool slap. website. Slap.sg. <laughs> slap.sg. Right? Slap. Yeah. Slap. Yeah. Very Simple nice. Slap and pole dance studio. Oh, Simple lap and pole dance studio. And so easy to remember as well. Yeah, man. Uh, Charlene, thank you. Thank you for being on People Neighborhood and, and just sharing with all of Singapore mm. uh, about your very, very unique occupation. And uh, yeah, we certainly hope that we can bring you just from this segment more students as well. Thanks for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me. Wonderful you, stuff. Shaleen. It's your all muttons right. in the morning driving you to work. Coming up next, we're going to spin the wheel. Oh.